as your biggest fan and as your son, I want to tell the whole world that I love you. And I'm truly honored and blessed to induct you into the 2008 Pro Football Hall of Fame. But from the time I first picked up a football, I just, I fell in love with this game. It's all I ever wanted to do. From playing tackle in the streets of White Plains, to playing in the stadiums in the NFL, I never ever imagined that it would take me this far. After making all the trips to all the schools, I had decided that the University of Maryland is where I was gonna go. And I was on the phone one day uh, speaking to the head coach and I just kind of made the commitment to him that I'm, I'm coming. And my mother kind of overheard what I was talking about. She said, oh, no, 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 you're not, you're not, you're not going. You know, that's, that's, not, that's not where I think you should be going. And she said, I think you're going, you should go to Syracuse. But for some reason, I just said, okay. And um, I, I guess they say, you know, mom knows, always knows best. Well, when I first got to Syracuse, the program wasn't that great. We didn't win too many games. <laughs> but um, my class, we really kind of, we got a few, some, few, some key people. And, um, you know, we started winning a little bit. By my senior year, we were able to go to a bowl game. And I think that was probably the beginning, at least, of the years that followed when the program really began to grow and become really successful. And that first year was a struggle, had some intimacies with my coach. I think I needed those to sort of help me figure out what I was gonna do with the rest of my life. And that sort of turned the tables for me. Both my attitude and my performance just began to, to get better and better every year. When you talk about uh, some of the great players who play at Syracuse and, and, the, and the model and example that they've set for all of us, uh, I think Art Monk's a guy that really stands out at the head of that class. So I kind of had that confidence in coming out of college that I knew that I could catch the ball. I could catch anything that was thrown to me. It's just a matter of how they used me. And it was like they planted me in the right soil. And I just seemed to, to blossom there and, and do well. And I, I think a lot of it had to do with just the team that I was on, I mean, Coach Joe Gibbs. And then when he came, we saw signs of hope, but we didn't have a great season. And then the next year, his second year, we went to the Super Bowl and then following that to the Super Bowl, and then went to two more after that. He would make the tough catches. You got a third and eight, a third and 12. Who are you gonna go to? Well, you're gonna go to Art Monk. Art was tough, big, fast, and he can catch. Man, throw it up there, he'll go get it. Being a teammate of Art Monk's with the Jets uh, was a privilege for me uh, because I got to learn from one of the best of all time. After a year with him, uh, it really benefited me and, and I wound up going to my first Pro Bowl. He did spike the ball from time to time, but most times when he got into the end zone, he looked for the referee and tossed the ball to him. You know, I think what my dad did in the community in, in D.C. had more an effect on me than what he did on the football field. He was not defined by football. He was defined by his altruism, by his benevolence. Uh, giving back is something I, I saw in my parents at an early age. You know, my mother said that you know, life is more, is more than just about you, but it's about what you can do to benefit somebody else. I began to have conversation with Ard and Ernest and Tim Johnson about doing something where we didn't just parachute in, do something for a cause, and then parachute out. Me and some former players did have a, a, a foundation called the Good Samaritan Foundation where we focused on inner city youth. Job readiness was kind of our main focus. We really believe that the, the key to the hope for these kids was to give them valuable work experience. So we trained them and then we put them into the workplace. We didn't have corporate sponsors and all that. We did it on our own. That's something that was very important for us to be able to help them realize their hopes and dreams so that they can become positive and productive people in our communities. If you want to start a business, start a foundation, uh, put it in his hands and it'll get done because it'll be thorough. Several things that I'm sort of involved in, one is developing some sporting venues over in China. We're working to put on a, uh, an NFL All-Star game as well as some personal training venues and some uh, youth football camps. His, uh, zeal for life, his respect for people, the way that he conducts himself um, has all attributed to his success. But Art has also given back as a member of the Board of Trustees to this university on our Athletic Advisory Board. 
and as I mentioned, coming back to speak to the teams and, and interacting and engaging with our current student athletes has been priceless for us. I feel like it's my responsibility to reach back and help those who were in the same position I was in. He was the guy who was really instrumental in bringing together the recognition of the Syracuse Eight and the equal rights that they fought for and how are we going to recognize these guys and how are we going to stand up and say this was the right thing. Art is very much a team player in everything he does. Uh, that was clearly true when he played football at SU with the Redskins. He was known for that. He was renowned for it. And on the board, he's very much interested in a consensus, finding out what other people are thinking. And uh, he makes his comment, and, and he makes a contribution. Just really excited about the fact that he's getting recognized by the College Football Hall of Fame. It's, it's so well-deserved. I have the same feeling as what I did when I was elected into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Gosh, look at where I've been and what I've had to go through and the people who have helped me get to this point.